So when we say that we want to have a method that returns nothing, we actually specify it by adding in this term void. Again, if we look at this. I want to now, instead of uh, return that integer sum, instead of returning it, I want to actually kind of just display it to the user immediately. Well, I keep the same access modifier, so I keep the same access modifier as before. I renamed it, you know, I did, it's still a name. I still have these parameters, but this guy right here, instead of saying I'm going to uh, have a an integer after this or a double after this or a boolean after this, I said I'm not going to have anything after this. This tiny little program inside of my big program is going to run and execute and that's it. You know, there's no storing this for later use. What happens if, say for example, I got rid of that entire system.out.println. Now this would be a really crappy uh, print sum method because it doesn't print anything, but this is perfectly valid. Uh, it's going to run, it's going to execute, and int calc will equal one, uh, i1 plus i2, and then Nothing happens afterwards. You know, again, this calc just gets kicked out of memory. It's done. This is using Java's garbage collector, which just basically says anything that's no longer being used, get rid of it. I don't need it clogging up my system because I don't have I don't have a use for it anymore. So when we make our return statements, if we don't want to return anything, we call it void.